Five wagons grope blindly for the path on a starless night, their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight.
Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle round here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case, you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Not if you hurry about your business. And not if the weather holds up. This time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here, time to time. Locals call it a beowick, born out of the ether, the spirit's path. Never seen it myself, never cared to. Hold on, take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot, not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. Kalisha. Kalisha! He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your... You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Right. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. Say, is there anything you need? Something else you need? Looks like... Let's check by those outcroppings.
Something else you need? Still waiting on Sparfell, which means he's ignored me again. If I'd known he wanted to slow us down, I'd have just tied him to the back of the wagon and dragged him. I'm sorry, you want your water, you better go find him. He's got all the skins. Shit, come on, let's go look for him. Something else you need? I'm a trader. Originally from the Adir Empire, but I've been trying to establish new business out here. Life on the road has brought some unexpected challenges, to be sure. And I'm sure you've noticed how prickly the locals can be. But we're here to make the most of things, right? It's not as big as it used to be, but it's still big. The mainland is a continent northwest of here, but the colonies used to include Rayad Ceres and the Deerwood. About 150 years ago, Deerwood won its independence from the Empire, a fact our companions are quick to remind me of. We shouldn't stray too far. What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on. Sparful, are you all right?
ambush. What you need?
what you need.